Hey folks, uh, just gonna do a book review. Summer break has started, so I have a lot more time on my hands, and I was able to finish reading this book. It's called War in the Land of Egypt by Yusuf al Qaid. He's an Egyptian author, and this takes place towards the, uh, I guess it's, it's towards the end of the 20th century. It's like 1973. Um, if you know anything about the history of that era, there were a lot of wars going on, especially uh, between the Arab world and Israel, and then this case is being, you know, taking place in Egypt, it's from the Egyptian perspective, and it doesn't really get into the whole Egypt versus Israel part, it's more like within Egyptian society and kind of analyzing the conflict between different, uh, you know, classes of people, and the effects of corruption, and the abuse of power, and the this, this sort of conflict between the, between the haves and the have-nots, and, uh, it's a it's right to a tragic comedy, like a tragic comedy, so it's kinda like um there's a lot of dark humor in the in the sense of the uh the valuing of one life over the other and the uh crushing influence of being powerless. So there's a certain darkness to it, but there's also like that sort of like there's that saying that whatever the greatest calamity is that which makes you laugh. So it kind of examines uh, things from that, that perspective. And um, it utilizes a tale about a collection of individuals to illustrate greater points or larger points about the society at the time. And the interesting, one interesting thing about this novel is it was actually banned in Egypt, in part because, you know, it, it criticized, like, the workings of the politicians and and the military and Egyptian society in general, which, you know, especially at that point in time, they didn't want to hear about it, you know, so they banned the book. But luckily, it's still in print, so it translated into English. This is an English translation. My, my Arabic isn't, uh, isn't that great right now. Um, hopefully, at the end of the summer, you know, I'll, I'll have been able to put in some time studying that and, you know, refurbishing my knowledge. So going off this uh, translation... See, it's translated by Olive and Lauren Kenny and Christopher Tingley. And uh, this is published by Interlink World Fiction. And I highly recommend this if you really want to get that, you know, um, other take on things. Because, you know, oftentimes when we hear about, like, the war of 1973, we only get to hear one side. And we uh, don't actually see that, even within these societies, there are people who recognize there are problems with this corruption and so on. and and, uh, you know, are willing to speak out about it. So I highly recommend this book. It's well written. And, uh, you know, the way the way the, the story is uh, put together and such, it really does, you know, allow you to develop that sort of emotional bond with the characters. Especially the character of Master, who happens to be the only character who has an actual name in this book. Um, the chapters are divided up based on, like, a central character. Um, and they kind of revolve around Masri, and I really, I don't, I don't want to ruin the story for you, but it has to do with, like, basically you have this every year, or every so many years, they had people being called up to serve in the army, kind of like in some countries they have a, you know, conscription, you have to do so many years just because, you know, you're a citizen of society, this is you doing your duty to your nation, and... This is a case in the, in the story where you have a wealthy landowner and you have um, one of his, one of the people who works for him. And the wealthy landowner has several sons who have all been able to escape, you know, serving the military, uh, except for this last one. He wants to, you know, have that son avoid serving as well. And so he goes out and tries to find someone to replace him. And, you know, in, in America, for instance, you go back to the Civil War, this wasn't uncommon, but it was kind of uh, in the open sort of deal where you literally, you paid someone like 200, 300, however many, you know, hundreds of dollars to go and fight in the war, you know, serve in the Union, Union Army or the Confederate Army in place of, you know, whoever, your son, your brother, yourself. And it would be an actual, you know, agreement that you, would, you know, you'd come to some sort of agreement about what amount of money, what amount of money you were going to pay them. And, you know, then they'd go serve for X number of years or so, or until the war was over. You know, they, they'd fulfill that, that end of the bargain, and you'd pay them for that. But in this case, 
a lot of this has to do with uh, kind of under the table dealings. So it um it's uh it's really interesting because you know it's not just some sort of oh they just signed some agreement that was it. There's all this like finagling going on and red tape and you know corruption, 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 and that uh, definitely gives it a a different angle, a different uh, feel than if they just said oh they signed an agreement and this stuff happened. You know which uh, allowed the author to examine a lot of the problems as far as, you know, he saw in a different society at that time that, you know, presumably still exists to this day. If, you know, if I were to hear the news, things going on and that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I highly recommend this book, this novel. I'm not sure if I said that before. I mean, I've had to re-record this video, so if I haven't before, I'm saying now, I highly recommend this one line of Egypt by Yusuf al Qaid. It's uh, it's about it's a little under two hundred pages, so it's not like you know, too much uh, work to get through. Published by Interlink World Fiction. In case I didn't mention that before, and this is translated to English. So, if your Arabic isn't you know that great, like you know mine isn't, uh, you can you can still get through it. You know, uh, reading in English. So. Again, again, it's uh, War in the Land of Egypt by Yusuf al Qaid. I recommend it and uh, go uh, get a copy and uh, take a stab at it. Thank you for watching my review and have a nice day.